Hello and welcome back to Sensibly Curly with April H. My name is April and thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today's video is going to be 10 different ways that you can update your home on a budget and I'll be talking about different ways that you can make your space really feel brand new without breaking the bank. Before I get into it, if you like videos like this or want to see more home decor related or interior design related videos, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Number one is add a fresh coat of paint. You would be remarkably surprised at how much adding a fresh coat of paint will really just uh, change the dynamic of your space and really make it feel brand new. I am in the process of completing two room makeovers and we've completely painted both rooms and it just makes it feel like a brand new house honestly. So if you are wanting just a fresh start for your home, I would definitely recommend painting. It really makes such a huge difference. Number two is going to be updating any and all sockets or light switches. I have actually a light switch right here that I need to update and I'll probably be showing you a little snippet of me doing that so that you guys can see how much of a difference that it makes. So don't overlook things like that because it really does have a big impact on how your space looks. Number three, I would definitely encourage you to change any light fixtures that you may have that are outdated. And I'll actually be showing you guys on the screen right here some different light fixtures that are very much in these days. And I'll also be showing you different styles as well. Whether it's a ceiling fan or a chandelier, whether it's lighting within your kitchen, you definitely would be surprised at how much just a simple switch like that will make your space feel completely different. You do not neglect your outdoor lighting. Sometimes your floodlights or any other lights outside of your home can be outdated and it's easily forgotten. Keep those in mind because it can definitely make a difference. Number four is going to be switching out or painting any of your handles or knobs. This can be um, your knobs like on your doors within the rooms. This can be um, handles or poles in your kitchen cabinets, even on your dressers or nightstands. Switching things like this can really um, update the look of your furniture pieces or even your space like your kitchen as i said before there are numerous videos on youtube of people doing kitchen makeovers and bedroom makeovers and things like that and um, just with a simple switch of a knob or a pull really really makes it feel um, new again Number five is going to be updating any of your bedding or window treatments. Your bedding really, really has an impact on your bedroom. If you invest in really good quality bedding, it will definitely last you a lifetime and also really make your room feel more luxurious. I definitely want to recommend um, getting like new sheet sets or whether they're Euro shams, the new comforter, duvet, throw pillows, blankets. Those are all things that can really make a difference, make your bed look more luxurious, um, higher quality. Even a new mattress pad can really make your bed look more comfy and cozy and just like rich and full. Definitely, I would say update your bedding and also window treatments, whether it's getting new blinds or just a new curtain and curtain rod for your windows. That definitely makes a difference. I actually recently changed out my curtains in my bedroom and I'm planning on doing that again because I'm not particularly happy with how it looks right this moment, but with time I'll definitely change it again. So it's such an easy fix and so inexpensive that you can really switch it up even as your taste starts to expand or evolve over time. Number six, I definitely will say it is so important that you maintain updated wall art and photos within your home. I think a lot of times it's easily overlooked and when you update your wall art or your photos, it will allow for um, the feeling within your home to all be very cohesive as you update your furniture and things like that. So with updating your space, it's not only the big things like furniture, it also, um, you also need to keep in mind 
little things like photos and um, wall art. This is a great way for you to try your hand at some DIYs. There's so many DIY videos on wall art. Um, some channels that come to mind are DIY with KEB and Pritchard Projects. They both have really, really amazing wall art um, DIY videos. So I would definitely recommend checking them out and I'll leave their information in the description box below so you all can check them out. Number seven is to switch out your smaller home decor items. This includes vases, mirrors, books, uh, whether they're little figures or figurines, even baskets and trays. This is a great opportunity for you to check out different stores and websites and to find some great pieces. And because these items are relatively smaller than like, let's say a couch or a dresser, they're also very, very inexpensive in comparison. And so it's a lot easier for you to change the style or the look of your home with a simple switch of a home decor item. Number eight is to get a new rug or runner. I definitely recommend um, updating your runners, whether they're in your kitchen or your hallway, your bedroom, every so often, whenever you're in need of just a refresh. Definitely look to your rugs or runners because sometimes they just get very dingy and worn and they can be very easily overlooked as well, but they make such a huge difference when you have the right one for your space. Number nine, I definitely suggest that you get cleaning and organizing. You can organize your closets, your dressers, your nightstands. I think just having everything in its right spot can really make your space feel new again. I know that whenever I organize my closet, I literally feel like I have like a new closet and sometimes I rediscover items that I kind of forgotten about before. So that's also a great tip for you all. And the very last tip is to just let things go. I definitely suggest simplifying your possessions. There are a lot of resources on the internet and just out there these days on how to um, simplify your life through your possessions. There are methods like the Marie Kondo method. There are so many ways that you can go about just minimizing uh, what you have. And I definitely suggest donating your items. You can even sell some of your clothing or whatever it is that you have in your home that you don't necessarily need or use anymore. I think one way that people really get caught in the cycle of um, just hoarding and keeping things that they don't need is feeling as though they have an attachment to certain items, whether it be through memories or because someone gave them something, they might feel bad getting rid of it. But I truly believe that you should only have the things that you actually desire to have and actually use. Sometimes you'll realize that some of the things that you think you need, you actually don't. So I think if you have any doubt in your mind, definitely think it over and ask yourself whether you would miss this item if you no longer had it and if not get rid of it just toss it <laughs> so those are all the tips that i have for you all on how to update your space and your home on a budget i hope that you all enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and make sure you click the notification bell so that way whenever i post a new video you will be notified Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.